Okay guys, I wanted to uh, show you kind of how to set the DJI FPV drone um, more like what we're used to where you have a, a switch to arm the motors, disarm the motors, um, and then C1 is what I ended up using. If you double press it, it turns the beep and the lights flashing, so kind of your motor beep. And then I've got C1, if you single press, set up to where my auxiliary landing light turns on any time that I want. Um, we'll try it here and see if you can see it in the video or not. Um, yeah, so it won't, it says aircraft not in flight, unable to enable. But I will double press now and we'll start the, the uh, motor beeping um, and uh, the LEDs flashing. So in my on my screen it says flashing and beeping, and you can see I don't know if it'll show up. Yeah, you really can't tell. You can see that that left rotor there kind of twitching like it does. So then you have to double press again to turn off. And on the right side of my screen in my goggles it says flapping, <laughs> flapping, flashing and beeping. Uh, canceled or stopped or whatever. So um, I want to go through, I don't have a good way to show you the goggle uh, OSD, so I'm just going to go through it and, and tell, you, tell you guys how to do it. So this is to set up the, the motor beep and, and LED flashing and also to do the uh, motor start stop. Um, like we are used to with our normal FPV drones. I'm in love. I mean, I, I've i been the whole time with this DJI FPV, FPV drone um, to take off. Uh, you know, I take off in normal mode or sport mode, and then when, once I get up there, I change to manual mode. Um, with this new setting, I just take off and land in manual mode like we're all used to doing. And it's just for me, it's so much more comfortable. So, so here we go. So to set this up, I'm single pressing my um, settings button. That's your button that depresses and toggles. I'm then toggling down to the settings. In settings, I'm going to um, control. And then it's already on remote controller. Just go ahead and push again. And we're using the uh, just the, the settings button or to do this. That's your button that depresses and toggles left, right, up, and down. Once you go into the uh, remote controller, you're going to see um, in the top bar, you've got four choices, button customization. If you toggle right, you got stick mode. If you toggle right again, gain and expo. If you toggle to the final um, tab, it's RC calibration. So you can toggle back down to the customization button, uh, button customization, and click on it. And then toggle up. It's kind of weird. When you click on it, you have to toggle towards your forehead. So here in C1, I've got set as my auxiliary LED. C1 button is the button to the left of your power button for your remote controller. I have it set to turn on my landing lights whenever I want while in, in flight. C1 double press, I've got set to flashing and beeping. So that's our you know normal uh, you know, that's how we find our drone if it goes down, flash and beep it. I really like that. C2 top. So this is now on the front face, or I guess the back of the uh, DJI controller. Um, you have two multi-position. Three, it, each, it has three positions. The left side is how we change our modes. All the way down is manual, and the middle is test mode, I think, and then on the top is your normal mode. You leave that alone, nothing changes there. But your um, your C2 button, which is on the right side 
It's your right side reposition button. C2 top is stop motors. And I think the way it sets this is you have to start with the C2 bottom. So I went into C2 bottom and I set it as my start motors. And then it, then it automatically makes C2 mid and C2 top your stop motors. I didn't think I liked this when I first um, was setting it up. I thought I wanted C2 top to be uh, flashing and beeping. But if you change it to that, it it, it uh, defaults back to the original for C2, and it just goes. It makes your gimbal go up or down. So, and now that I've flown, um, I see why. So, basically, um, when I'm wanting to stop, that that C2 top is the closest button to, that my finger can grab, and all I have to do is depress it, and uh, and my motors stop. So it works, it feels the most comfortable to have that C2 top be the one that actually disarms the motors. So I do like that setting. And of course if you go, if you don't make it quite far enough and you only make it to C2 mid, you have still stopped the motors. So there's only C2 bottom to start, C2 mid to stop motors, and C2 top to stop motors. And I think they thought this one out well. I think I think that's how it should be. So, um, and then of course to even be able to do any of this, your custom mode has to be set to manual. That's the final uh, area that you can mess with in this button customization. So, um, sorry I couldn't show you the actual screen. If I figure out a way to do it, uh, I will. But um, I figured I could just talk. Uh, talk you through it because it took me a little bit to figure out where in the world to go to uh, make all this work. So, but I'm very happy with it now. I will uh, fly and show you guys uh, um, this uh, live as I do it. Okay. Hopefully, my GoPro outside is still filming. I've been having problems with it turning off on me. Uh, we are now going to depress the C2 button all the way down um, to the, the bottom position. And you guys should see the rotors start turning. Oh, and it's cool. I'm not in uh, manual mode, so it's telling me to go to manual mode. So I just went to manual mode. You kind of always know because your camera tilts further down. Um, and now we can start motors. Motors have started. Now I'll show you a motor stop. So I just uh, click the button one time, and, and it's actually in the middle middle position position to uh, start. So or to stop. So starting motors again, and here we go. And we are off. And I tell you guys, it's windy out here. You can see, but. I am just most comfortable, especially in wind, um, in this mode. A little roll for you, or I'm sorry, uh, front flip. Here's a roll. So you can see that I am in. Uh, manual mode. So now we're coming in for a landing. We're going to go over here. Come in nice and low and slow. We'll go over here with where the, uh, and I'm being pushed around a little bit by the wind. So it wasn't as windy earlier when I was testing this. So hopefully we can land it to where it's on its feet correctly. There we go. So I don't think those props are touching. We'll find out here. I'm going to arm and then disarm. So we're fine. So I'm landing on the feet. We will take off. And man, guys, this is just so much more the way that I'm used to it. 
I like this low proximity flight. And I like that if I wreck, I know all of you guys have had those little uh, wrecks where it fell over in normal mode and you cannot get it to disarm. So I'm hoping that those days are over. All right, go through the loop here. I won't try the smaller one because my weeds are getting a little bit too tall. I need to mow, but man, I tell you, the, I don't understand the DJI FPV haters. This uh, drone is absolutely amazing. It does what it does. It, it'll never be a race drone, but you know, it keeps getting closer and closer to the abilities of our normal race drones with uh, each update that DJI does. Hello, car. Those little PT cruiser, or whatever they call those. My drone is like a puppy dog. It wants to chase all the cars. I'll tell you, the DJI drone has enough girth and weight to it that just slow proximity flight is so comfortable. Hello, puppy dog. It really does well. And this is the stock PIDs now with the with this new update. Um, it just reverted back to the stock PIDs and I actually feel like I'm liking it more than uh, how it was when I messed with it. there to hate about this drone. It just works so well. speed going. I have to be careful. He has some little wires around these trees keeping the wind from bowing them over. So yeah, I really like this new update. I think the FPV drone just keeps getting better and better. And man, guys, this is this is version one. Can you imagine what, uh, or try to imagine what V2 of the FPV drone might be like? I mean, this thing, it just handles so well for what it is. Well, it, is it comparable to one of my 5-inch race drones as far as what I can do with those? No. But, oh, a little touch and go. See if we can land here. Concentration. Um, this is a little sketch, but there we go. All right, guys. Looks like my uh, GoPro even stayed recording, so I should have a good, good landing on video there. All right, so 
This is uh, Tim with Up North FPV. Over and out, guys.